Hi, welcome to One Minute Tennis Coach. Just how do the pros hit the ball so hard? Many subscribers have sent us questions in saying more or less the same thing. I copy the technique and it's so close, it's so similar that it can't make that much difference. I do everything the same. I mirror my strokes on Federer, Nadal, Sipsifas, Medvedev. But even though I make the same shape, I don't get the same result. What's going on? To a lot of these players, the solution doesn't lie in the technique and shape of the stroke. The solution lies in what we call a live arm. Now, when we hold a racket, we all know that we should hold the racket pretty loose. It's very standard in traditional coaching to say, no, don't hold the racket too tight. But that only tells half the story. To find a live arm, take the racket, hold it upright in front of the body, and then gently sway it from side to side. Right now, this is a dead arm. The grip is tight, and the hand and the racket are moving in the same direction. But now I'm gonna loosen my grip substantially. This is a very soft grip, but it's still a dead arm, because the hand and the racket are still moving in the same direction. But now, with a substantially tighter grip, I'm going to find a live arm. And now the hand and the racket move in different directions. The difference is that now the wrist is engaged. The wrist is loose and free flowing. I can do this with a tight grip and still have a live arm. I can do this with a soft grip and still have a live arm. Having a live arm where the racket is free and the energy can be transferred from the swing into the ball is far more effective and far more important than having a loose grip. A loose grip just doesn't make that much difference and often it means the player loses control and so very quickly they go back to a tight grip. This is a fantastic way of finding the kind of power that you dream of in your strokes, the kind of power that we see every day from the professional players. It's not as easy to find as you might think. It takes a little bit of practice to get that loose, free-flowing wrist that will stop retaining energy and release a little bit of the control. Play around with it the moment that you get the feel and you can see and feel that the racket and the wrist are flowing in different directions, then take that same feeling, get a ball fed to you, use a ball machine, whatever, but as quickly as possible, turn that live arm into a free flowing and powerful stroke. It feels totally different, the effect on the ball is totally different. Let us know how this works for you. We love to get your feedback. Um, this is a very, very interesting concept. It's difficult to achieve at first if it's not natural, but has enormous benefits. Hope you enjoyed today's session. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It makes a big difference to us. And see you next time for more unique and very different tennis lessons that really work.